Word up, car people! Today we are going to replace a clock spring. As you perhaps have seen in some of my other videos, I have a ESP and an ABS fall on my info screen. So that's what we are going to solve today. And it's a pretty simple job. You only need a torque 50 for my car. There are a lot of other cars who use a 19. Then we will need some different kinds of screwdrivers. And that's pretty much it. I've started by removing the case around the steering wheel, as you can see here. And the next step is very important. Remove the negative battery pole and let the car sit for around 20 minutes before you start. It will make sure that we don't have any energy back in the car, so the airbag will explode on us. After 20 minutes, I'm ready to start this project. First, I will just align the wheels so it will be straight with the car. Actually, on my car, I have a trace for the steering wheel, so it won't do any problems. But there's a lot of cars where you can put your steering wheel back a bit off to the center. Here you can see the new clock spring. Sometimes you only get the front of it, but I get the whole clock spring with the center console and where you have the light and so forth. Um, the controls for the entertainment system, the blinkers, and I also got this cruise control as well. That's pretty neat when you drive on the freeway. And here's the problem with the old. This is the new one and it's set correctly as you can see on this small button here. But the old one was, I don't know how, but somehow it was off and that resulted in the clock spring uh, broke. And that's why we get the error message on the info screen. To get the air bag out, it's pretty simple. You just push up on this spring with a screwdriver or something like that. And then the air bag pops out. And after that, it's ready to be disassembled. You do that first with pop out the little yellow tab. And after that, you can take the whole connector out of it, like so. And after that I just pull the extra ground connector out as well. And here you can see inside the steering wheel. Remember just to put the airbag face down on the seat, so if it pops, but it won't do that, but if it pops, it won't smash the whole car. After that, I just take the connection out, the ground connection, and it's pretty easy to get the steering wheel off and get some leverage. You can just pull down the steering wheel and set it and then use your legs to counter the wrench when you screw the center bolt out with the torque 50. And then it's pretty much it. And you can get the steering wheel off. As I said, it is pretty simple. 
here you can see the new clock spring and on the front it looks pretty similar to the one who, who sits on already. To take the clock spring off you just have to push up these tabs and then it will smoothly come off. And then you have five connectors on the back. You have a blue and a brown and a gray. And then of course the two connection to the app back. You get the connectors out by just pushing up this little clip and then the connector pops out. And just to clear out it's always good to compare the, the two components, the old and the new one, to see if they are the same. And I've checked the numbers and as you can see here it's also the same with the same amount of connection and so forth. Yet again, the problem was that the old clock spring was somehow off the center and you can see if I push down the center console then I can turn the clock spring around and I get a G and then I'll get a double G and then I know it's off center and here you can see it just is stuck because it's turned all the way and if I turn it to the other direction it will get an D and after that two D's. So it needs to be centered on, on the simple like, like an I. And after that I just assemble the connections again. The brown to the brown, the blue to the blue and the gray to the gray of course. Don't forget the two other side connectors. And then it's pretty much just to put it back again. So that I just put the wires through the steering wheel again, the two airbag connectors and the horn connector. As you can see here on my steering wheel it has a track so it can almost only go in the right way but it is a bit off the center. But just screw it all together again and torque it down. Here's a, just a simple diagram on the steering wheel column. And as you can see, the steering wheel lock nut, it's typical around 30 to 40 uh, foot pounds of torque, and that's around 40 to 50 Newton meters. The airbag is ready to be assembled again. I just put the ground on it. And then I'm ready to push the connectors in here for the left side and after that on the right side. And I just push the green connector in first and after that I push the yellow little clip in. And after also have assembled the horn. I can just push the airbag in again and the spring behind the airbag will hold it tight together again. Here you can see that's perfect. We don't get any errors on the info screen with the ABS or the ESP. So that's a complete job and the car is now completely functional again. Thank you so much for watching, hope you liked the video and as you can see it is a really simple job to, to do so don't be afraid of it, just follow this video and you can do it yourself. 
I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and like it.